Welcome back to my Fable 3 Let's Play. My name is Parky. This is episode 32. Last time we uh, we set the taxes ridiculously high because we're on an evil playthrough. Never know when I might have a sailor. We met Reaver again and made all the children work uh, because that's what children should be doing. Children aren't allowed to have fun in my mind. Uh, and we've got to go to the throne room, which is here. So yeah, apparently I'm uh, nearing the end of the game, according to some people. I hope I'm not, because I do like this game. But yeah, anyway, um, my uh, total views on my videos have it's reached 7,000, uh, and I am impressed by that. I never thought I'd get over 100 views. That guy just disappeared. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, you're probably thinking that's not that's not a high number at all in terms of YouTube views. But to me, it's awesome. So thank you very much to everyone who views my videos, especially the ones who um, rate them. I do. Uh, it does make me feel warm and fuzzy inside when people rate my videos. So yeah, get out my way. All stand for the king. Damn right. Today, you will decide what is to be done with the Bowerstone Old Quarter, site of the Battle for Albion. Paige will offer her proposal. Reva shall stand against her. You may speak. Your Majesty, our victory came at a great cost to the city. You have done little to improve the lives of your citizens since you came to power. But it's not too late to start. I ask that the old quarter be rebuilt and its former residents rehomed. Nah. You wouldn't just be helping those in great need. You'd be sending a message to your people. They're scared, Your Majesty. Let them know they can count on you. No. Your Majesty, the old quarter was indeed devastated by your glorious triumph. But as its name subtly implies, it was old. You give a good the point. cost of rebuilding and the area would be a colossal. Shut now up. is not the time to build houses. We have other priorities. The request is denied. Why? The king has reached his decision. The old quarter shall become a monument to our victory and is to be left untouched. Sanity prevails. And, and do not fret. I shall make sure there is no negative publicity attached to your decision. Good. You have turned your back on those who need you the most. I wonder if anything has really changed since we overthrew your brother. Shut up. Despite the heartless demands of the greedy few, we are proud to announce that the historic site of Bowerstone Old Quarter will forever be preserved as a monument to this city's greatest triumph. Join me, Reaver, in saluting our proud heritage. Is that guy riding a pig? I want a pig riding night person. Days left until attack. 339. Hello. Is there a more beautiful spectacle than a big pile of gold? It's quite nice. <laughs> Forgive me the rhetorical question. In any case, we are certainly doing well, but we are still short of the target. As a matter of fact, our very first order of business might have a bearing on our financial situation. The time has come to decide the annual town guard budget. As you can imagine, the people like to complain about crime and the lack of safety on our streets and are calling for more guards than your brother was ever willing to pay for. You have three choices, your majesty. Leave the budget as it is. After all, the people have grown accustomed to murder, theft and contraband. Increase the budget and fill the streets with soldiers keeping the peace. A rather costly solution, or take a more considered approach by lowering the budget. For what is the point of a safe, well-policed kingdom when it is too poor to protect itself from certain annihilation? You raise a good point. What shall I do, everyone? Well, that's a very hard decision. 
Let's lower the guard budget. Very wise, your majesty. Better to have a city full of criminals than a city full of very dead people. Let us now turn our attention to the rest of today's business. Here is the royal schedule I have prepared. Schedule. Okay. Decide the castle's decoration. That sounds like fun. Uh, rule on the status of Aurora. Embark on a journey, adventure, and exploration. Thank you. As you can see, you have a busy day in the court, but a tremendously enjoyable one. I'm Decoration sure. Decoration is a passion of mine, and I simply cannot wait to see your choice. I was going the to make a joke about your you in the sexuality, but I'm not going to. I'll rise above that joke. Well, I could easily make it. Ah, <gasps> hello. Never mind. Did you just say hiss at me instead of actually hissing? All stand to attention <sighs> for the king of our Hello. Okay. Why do you have umbrellas on your breasts? Today you decide on the decor of the castle. Two of Albion's greatest interior designers have come to present their suggestions. You may speak. Your Majesty, I am Herman Worthy, and I have a design Herman in Worthy. mind that will blow your little royal socks off. Imagine a celestial scheme capable of lifting the shadows that haunt these halls. A fabulous balance of serene hues that announce to the world, I am a strong, virtuous leader. Hear me roar. But also, look how pretty my home is. Do I have to you speak are an enlightened like you if king. I have that? Let the heart of your castle be enlightened too. Celestial? Serene? Pretty? Don't you wish to be known as a ruler or as a fool? I ruler. am Sybil Maleficent, Your Majesty, and I can tell you that people respect what they fear. This castle should be a fortress of dread. Okay. I propose that we Shut up. I wish this to be a fortress of dread. Damn right. The readers of Castle Design Weekly will be delighted with your intelligent choice. Intelligent well, I, for choice. one, am seriously considering cancelling my subscription. Shut up. You're all, you're all witches. Thanks. I want to see the castle now. I bet it looks really cool. Let's have the chicken loading screen. And then... Epic castle, hopefully. Come on, please. It doesn't Today look very different. Today you decide on the future of Aurora, Your Majesty. Okay. Kaylin will speak for her people. Reva will dispute her cause. You may speak. I am here to seek the protection you promised. It is too long since my people felt safe or knew of life without suffering. We were honored to join your fight to claim Albion. Why are you waving now your arms around? Now it is time around? we joined your kingdom. Do what your brother failed to do. Help us to rebuild Aurora and protect it as you would your own land. There is nothing so noble as embracing other cultures, and I, for one, could not be happier to count Aurora as part of Albion. But surely they must work for that privilege, and I happen to know just how to put them to good service. There is an abandoned mine in the Auroran desert that holds enough materials to benefit the whole kingdom. Let us employ Kaylin and her people to gather what resources there may be. That can be their payment. You are talking about forced labor. Well, let's not get bogged down in semantics. It's a fair transaction. I know you will not break your oath. Really? You understand what we have been through. The choice is yours, Your Majesty. Okay. Have a deep, grungy voice. Well, obviously, I'm going to break the promise. I'm sorry, woman with no hair and face paint. Aurora will become part of Albion, but they must work for this privilege. Oh, you bet. The king has spoken. 
Aurora shall be mined for resources. Its people shall receive the protection of the throne in exchange for their labor. You are no better than your brother. He may have left us to die, but you wish only to exploit us. Yes. Okay. Welcome to the new and improved Aurora, an oasis of friendship, camaraderie, and valuable resources. Visit the city that Riva Industries rebuilt from sand and tour the local mines where you can witness the Aurorans' refreshingly vigorous work ethic. Aurora, a gem glowing in the darkness. Looks quite nice, actually. I'm quite pleased with my work as king. What do you think of it? Good. I thought that too. So anyways, um... A wise oh decision God. in court Whoa. today, Your Majesty. While it is true that your popularity in Aurora has suffered, the people closer to home are not too concerned. This could prove to be a very profitable arrangement. It looks and nice. And speaking of Aurora and profits, we may have stumbled upon some very exciting news in that area. It seems that a group of Albion explorers visiting Aurora have discovered a rare diamond in the desert. They heard the legend of this extraordinary gem from the locals and understandably set out to find it without a moment's regard for their own lives. Which may go some way to explaining why only one of the explorers returned in one piece. He came back empty-handed Speaking of the hideous desert beings protecting the treasure. Think of the glory, your majesty. The adventure. The romance. The large sums of money we stand to make. The diamond is located in one of the caves beneath the Auroran wasteland, reportedly the site of an ancient abandoned temple. You need only to take it. That sounds quite good, actually. I'm going to end this video here because um, if I start this adventure I won't be able to save it and I need to go to sleep because I'm a baby. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Next time we'll go and get this massive diamond in the desert or something. And um, yeah, click on the annotation in the top or bottom or wherever to see the previous or next episode. Thank you. Have a good day. Outro of awkward goodbye, goodbye, awkward, awkward, goodbye.